Hello, this is Dave Christensen from Home and Garden 911.com. I'm going to demonstrate to you today how to properly attach your wiring to this uh, receptacle device. We often have to, not often, but we occasionally have to replace one of these in our home. I'm going to show you the proper way to attach the wiring to this receptacle device. I made an earlier video showing you the differences between the different models of receptacles, between the cheaper ones and the more expensive ones that I think are better in the long run to buy. Uh, but I'm going to show you the uh, proper way to attach the wiring around the posts. I'm going to step closer to the camera too when I do that. What I have here is a piece of Romex wire. I'm going to strip it, strip the jacket off of it to show you that. And I'll and strip the insulation off the copper conductor and show you how we attach that okay so let me step closer to the camera and I'll show you how we strip this jacket off I have a, a hook build knife it's an electrician's knife and it's made to as the name would imply hook under the uh, jacket of the uh, of the uh, cables it's a cable Romex cable you just strip it like that. I would encourage someone who's not well practiced at this to use gloves. Safety first. We don't want to slice ourselves up. We don't want to have to go to the spend Saturday afternoon at the hospital getting stitches. It's never convenient. So you take that jacket off, you cut that, strip it off like that. Now you'll see inside we have the uh, paper, paper jacket surrounding the group of wires. You got your black wire, your white neutral, and your bare copper grounding conductor. Take that paper off there like that. And I'll show you uh, these strippers here. I'll move them around. I'm not sure exactly where you can see them best, but you'll see the different size holes. Right here is for different size wires. If you choose the right, the wrong size hole to strip your wire. If you pick one that's too small, it could damage your, it'll actually nick the bare copper. And that's not a good thing to do. So you want to know what size wire you're using. This happens to be size 14 gauge, American wire gauge, uh, AWG is what they say. Uh, 14 AWG, 14 gauge wire is another way of saying it. So you can take your, uh, your strippers and look for the size 14 hole here. It's engraved right in and strip that off. Now, on this receptacle, let me show you this. On this receptacle, they usually show you a strip gauge. It'll help you gauge the amount, the proper amount of uh, insulation to strip off the wire. Uh, it's right here, and it's approximately uh, half inch to five eighths of an inch long, but you can use this gauge to know what the proper amount of insulation is to strip off in there. Uh, once you do, do this a few times, you, you just about know and you won't have to refer to that anymore. So you strip it off like that, if you can see that bare copper. Now here, uh, on this stripper tool, you see the hole right there and there's another hole right there. That's to bend the wire with. You can bend a little hook in the wire which you're going to use to wrap around the post. Let me get that right in front of you there. See if you can see that. See how you can strip that hook right in there? That's the hook you'll use to wrap around the post. So let's pick a post here. This is the white wire, so you'll notice the different colors of the posts. You have your silver colored posts, that's for the neutral conductors. On the other side, you have the brass colored posts. That's for the black or energized circuit conductor. So we'll go back to the silver post and just hook that wire right around that post like that. Let me get my screwdriver. And uh, you just tighten that up. You want to hold that wire here so it's coming off perpendicular to the post or to the device 
and uh, you want to snug that up nice and snug snug tight as we say you don't want to kill yourself on it but you don't want it to come loose either now that's not quite on there you'll see that I tighten that and there's most of that wire is hanging off the side of the screw can you see that that's not quite right I'm going to redo that I want more of the copper conductor to be behind that screw so I'm going to hold it a little better as I tighten it now you can see the difference you see how the copper conductor is behind the screw it's not hanging out here like it used to be that's the way you want it notice also if you will the proper amount of insulation that I stripped off you don't want any extra bare copper hanging out here and as importantly you don't want any insulation to become uh, to end up underneath that screw you want nothing under the screw but bare copper wire if you didn't strip off enough of the insulation you could end up with some of that white insulation underneath that screw and that would not give you a good connection so it's important to get the strip the wire stripped to the right length uh, so you don't have any bare cut if, if you had too much stripped off you'd have extra bare copper wire hanging off the back side here and if you didn't have enough you might end up with some insulation underneath that screw that wouldn't be good so there you have it right there I hope you can see that there's your green post for your bare copper uh, your bare grounding conductor and on the other side is where we would attach the black wire now in the next video I'm going to show you how to properly attach one of these receptacle devices in an actual box in a wall uh, in an actual application so look for that uh, again I'm Dave Christensen at uh, home and garden 911.com it's a pleasure for me to bring this to you uh, my hope is that it's useful information for someone and if it is uh, feel free uh, and I'd, I'd be happy if you left me a comment at our website and if there's a question or if, if you have any kind of a question pertaining to anything we have on our website please leave a comment in a form of a question if it's anything that I have any uh, background in or perspective on I'd be happy to uh, bring that to you again Dave Christensen home and garden 911.com Thanks for watching.